In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make like a uh, alpha for like a grill on the front of a car, something like this, or like this back pattern here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a, t a tiling alpha bump. It gives us really high textile density, um, which is the main thing for this. It means we don't have to use thousands of polys making that shape as well. So the first thing we're going to do is just select this loop and this loop, and we're going to apply a new material to that. And I'm going to call that metal, because basically all we'll need to use on that, I already had one on the scene, which is why it's renamed it metal one. Um, all we're going to use for that is just like a, just a generic metal material. So on the inside, if you just do control shift and I, that will invert the selection and apply a new material to that. And we'll just call this grill. And it's worth just changing, quickly changing the color of that as well. Okay, so now we need to make a little alpha texture. So we're going to Photoshop, and I'll make a 512 by 512. It could be much lower than this, to be fair, but I'll just do 512. I'll turn off my um, grid with Control H. Then what we'll need to do is just fill this in with black. Now, I already have black and white here, so I'm going to use um, Control and Backspace to fill that in with black. Then I'm going to do go to my select tool here, just select an area like that. And just fill that in with white. And to fill it in with white, I just did Alt and Backspace. So it's Alt Backspace for your foreground color, Control Backspace for your background color. So again, Alt Backspace just to fill that in. Now this is super basic. Obviously, what you could do is like just study your reference, and you might want to tweak it. Like for one, if I look at one like this, for example, um, we'd have to stretch it a little bit, but the lines need to be thin, so we need to actually like it'd probably be more like. Um, more like that for this one but I'm just going to leave this one like this and uh, we'll do we're going to do the diagonal one so I can show you how to do the EVs so with that I'm going to do control A to select all control C to copy come into my channels and just make a new alpha and use control V to paste so I'll just run through that again control A to select all control C to copy make a new alpha select it and control V to paste. Now if we just come back to our layers, make sure we're on background and make sure we're on RGB. I'm going to fill that in with white. Now the reason I'm doing that is so that um, <clears throat> we'll use the alpha to define the transparency. So black will be invisible and white visible. And then we're going to use this to define the actual color. Now I'm leaving it as white so that we could change that color to whatever we wanted in ending. So we'll save this out, just grill alpha, and make sure we have 32 bits selected so that it saves the alpha. We'll come back into here and I'm going to delete my history, select my grill, this brings transform as well. And in my transparency slot, I'm just going to click this little button here, go to file, click the little folder and select my texture. And we can see it's already applied it, but obviously the tiling isn't right. So let's open up our UV editor, select the shape, and then we'll need to select the inside faces. So I've already got them here, but just to show you how I would select them, I would Select those, then just do Control Shift I. If we just play them up that bit, we can unfold it. And if we just scale it up, you can see that we can make that tile. Now, because our other one had a diagonal pattern on it, what we'll do is rotate this to get that diagonal pattern. You can see it's just rotating with um, no uh, angle snap on it. So if we just hold J, we can snap that to 45 degrees. And just, whoops, scale up our UVs some more until we've got that right. And you can see now you have your grid pattern in there. So yeah, that's um, 
basically how we do that. Obviously, at the moment, you can see it's reflecting across the whole surface. Well, we can fix that in um, <clears throat> in engine really easily, so I'm not bothered about it looking like that in Maya. Okay, so one other thing, if I look at this front thing, we'll see here we've got these kind of four bits here as well. I'm not going to do those with texture. I will just do those using either boxes or planes. And I'm just going to turn on my wireframe view here. Just snap that to the center there. And I'd like move it along somewhat. Scale it down and just get that to roughly kind of sit into place. Now um, it doesn't matter too much if it ex if it extends too high up or too low down because as long as it doesn't isn't visible in the car model itself, it's fine. We'll try rotate that one a bit. Um, and if if your um, scale is on well, just make sure you set it to like objects or. Okay, so with that in place, I'm just going to clone it over to here. So I'm going to freeze, transform, delete history. And I'm going to snap to there. Control D to clone. And then I can just bring in the scale like that. And do minus one from there. And then we'll need to freeze, transform on that again, just to reset that. And you could do the same for the other two bits as well. And that's kind of it, really. In fact, you'd get away with just using the same tiling, um, the same metal on there anyway. So again, we don't even need to unwrap those because um, I've, I've literally just make a um, material in Unreal Engine using constants and then just apply that to those. And um, for, we'll do the same for these beams here as well. So just duplicate those and just position them in place. And that's it. That's, so that's how you would use like a tiling alpha to do the grill and how you do all those little bits behind as well.